Hello everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an accessory that awards skills based on your actor or class. Uh, this is a special request for a seal feed icon, sorry seal feed for butchering your name. Um, he says, make an accessory that has skills, but in skills is different for each actor. Example, I want to make an accessory named the Water Orb, and when a knight equips it, he learns Water Slash and Ice Slash. But when a mage equipped it, he learns Heal Drop and Cure. How do I make it level required to use the skill? So I don't know how to make it level required to use the skill without using uh, the skill learning system. But I will show you how to do the first part of your request. Um, so let's take a look at what I've done in game here. So in the box, we've got some water orbs. And uh, let's take a look at our abilities really quickly for the Ronin. This is going to be your knight or melee class. Um, he has no skills. And the same thing for our spirit dancer, which would be your mage. Um, she's got no skills. But if we change their gear and we put on the water orb, he now has water slash and ice slash. And if we take off the water orb, he no longer has those skills. Same thing with uh, our mage class. Doesn't optimize accessories, so we'll put it on. Take a look at our skills. We have heal and cure. Of course, you could change these to fit your game. Uh, heal drop or cure drop or whatever you want it to be. And we can take that off. And you see we've lost those skills. So the skills are dependent on having that item equipped, which is exactly what you'd want it to do. So let me show you how to do that really quickly. It's not too hard. It's actually pretty simple to do this. Only thing you're really going to have to do is go into your database and uh, define different types. So for every uh, different skill set you want to award, like for a knight and for a mage, you're going to have to make a skill type for it. And the skills that you award are going to be um, classified in your skills of that. So like say for your knight you want to make something like a chivalry, uh, call a chivalry or something like that, or stalwart. And um, the, the slash skills you'll put under that. So we'll take a look at right here in our skills. Well, we're already on the, the heal. So for heal and for cure, they're set under key, which would be my magic type. So cure and heal would be for your mage, and we could put that under sorcery or key or magic or whatever you want. Just set the skill type for that specific one. And then for your water slash and your ice slash, you'll put that under chivalry or stalwart or, or tachi in my, in my instance here. And that's how you kind of specify what skills are learned. The armor itself is going to award all of those skills. So you would go to the traits, go over to skills. Now you're not adding skill type, otherwise the, no matter who you... If you award the skill types, then everyone will be able to use all skills. So you're just adding the skills, but you're not adding the skill type. So you select the skills that you want to add, and you put all of them in there. But no skill types, just the skills. Uh, wh where you're going to award the skill types is under actors or classes, depending on where you want to add the skill types. So that's basically it. That's all you would really have to do. Um, make your skills, specify the skill type, go under types, make special, uh, well you do this first, you'd make your skill types, and then you would award those skills for those skill types, and then the armor itself would award all of those skills, and uh, only if you have the type um, will you be able to use those skills. So that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this uh, answered some of your questions, Silphied Icon. Uh, I'll try to mess around and figure out how to do a uh, level requirement. If you're trying to do level requirements, though, you're best off using Enfly's skill learning system. I'll put a link in the description below where you can check that out. Check out the help file for all the stuff. But thank you guys for being awesome. Thank you guys for watching. And we will see you in the next tutorial.